Hi, I'm Dr. Francis Fessmeyer, developer of the Erlanger Chest Pain Protocol, the 2006 Ig Nobel Prize winner in medicine, and author of the famous novel, Nashville Skyline. Lately, I've been telling people of how I broke my ankle in Crete, a Greek island, where my son and I vacationed this summer as his graduation present. But I've gotten so tired of telling the story time and time again, I just want to tell people, go watch the YouTube video. But the Samaria Gorge in Crete is the second longest gorge in Greece. It's 10 miles long. And to get there, you have to go all the way up by bus to the top of the gorge. And then you have to do a long hike down. Here's Forrest. This is me. Looks just like me. Strong, handsome, virile. And by the way, I'm wearing the same clothes I wore when I did break my ankle. So we took our hike down, long and arduous, two to three mile hike down, and we finally get to the bottom. The whole way down is emergency position. I keep asking myself, what do they do when somebody gets hurt? How do they get them out of this gorge? It just didn't seem any way possible. And I also was thinking, God, the emergency rooms must hate this gorge. Because they Here must we are. be having. Start of the Sumerian Gorge. Taking the trail down to get to the gorge. I'm watching. <laughs> We're still winding down the trail. Seems like we've been doing it for 30 minutes. You almost fall in. So finally, after the several mile hike, we stop and take a water break right into entryway to the gorge. And we have a little snack. Forest, dad, bonding, looking at all the beauty around. The stream coming from up, and this is the start of the gorge. So after our water break at the entryway to the gorge, I see a line of hikers coming down and all of a sudden there's a break in this line and I shouldn't have used the word break but I say to my son Forrest let's go there's a break in the line of hikers I step up I take three maybe four or five steps my left leg slips on a rock my right leg goes way up but being the acrobat I am I'm able to catch my balance but no I come straight down on the back of my heel Snap! Went the posterior aspect of my ankle. I fall down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Forrest says, are you all right? Are you all right? I take my boot off and look at my ankle. And I try to stand. Am I going to be able to get my boot off? Oh, oh. And I look at it. And I think it's broken. So I put my boot back on and strap it up tight. Oh, there it is. falling apart and I sit there and Forrest says what are we gonna do and I say I'm sure someone will come along and help us and yes about 15 20 minutes later a fire ranger comes along what happened to you stupid American tourist I think I broke my ankle can you summon help yes I will make a radio call will it be to a helicopter helicopter ha ha this isn't America and she made a phone call and said, I'm calling in a mule, a donkey, a jackass. And so soon, this donkey arrives, and I get on the donkey, and I tell my son Forrest to continue the gorge, because I did this when I was 18, and I want you to have the same experience now that you're 18. And so they start leading me up on the donkey ride, up to the top of the gorge. So we just got at the bottom of the gorge and I twisted my ankle. I heard it pop. I'm really afraid it's broken. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. The horse is trying to find a stick for me. It's not good. The pain is bearable right now. It's only if I move it a tad then it becomes unbearable. But it's oh, yeah. building. I can feel the pressure building. So I'm pretty sure I broke my ankle. Here in and the Sumerian Gorge. Yeah. I 
didn't get to it. I guess I got to it. Technically got to the start. I got to the start. <laughs> and then down to cross it. I flipped. I want those rocks and instead of trying to keep myself from falling. My ankle twisted and I felt a crack. We're currently waiting on the park rangers. We're actually waiting on a mule. Yeah, we'll see if that happens. A mule instead of an ambulance. Thank you. Wonderful shot of a mule's butt. Meanwhile, while Dad is going up the gorge on a donkey, Forrest gets to go through the gorge by himself. Yippee! I don't have to listen to Dad narrating his videos. To infinity and beyond! Okay, I'm officially heading back down the gorge while my dad is heading back up on the mule. So the rest of the bits for today that you'll see, I will be the holy narrator. We have a new rule of thumb. So long we believe that just because dad's disembodied voice was the only thing in the camera, that we never actually had any proof that he was there. Well, it seems to have changed that if his voice isn't here, it means he's not present. Here's what is probably the main part of the gorge. Here's part of the gorge that's clearly carved away very impressively. Here is the iron gates of the gorge, probably about a third of the way from the end. The ride was terrifying because the donkey's right on the edge and every time I would look down rocks with gravel were fall and it was hundreds of yards straight down. I knew I was going to die and every time the donkey would jump I would scream <clears throat> and right when we got to the very top, we're at the top, I'm home free, a railing appears out of nowhere but the donkey's hugging the side and it catches my foot that's strapped in on the railing and my poor foot's bent around 180 degrees and I hear another snap. Ah! I'm screaming. The donkey goes, Arr! takes off running. Oh, another railing. Ah! Another railing. Ah! Another railing. And then the gorge wall, it turns and there's sheer rock and it slams me right into the rock. Ah! Snap goes my third broken bone. And we finally get to the top and I'm crying and I'm crying and they lay me down and they get me on a stretcher and they call an ambulance and the ambulance rushes me off to the hospital in Hania, Greece. In Greece, I'm there with my passport and insurance card. They don't even ask me my name. They don't care. Why fool with the formalities when health care is fine? The doctor comes in, looks at me and says, I think you broke your ankle. He got some x-rays. Yes, you broke your ankle. We shall split it. You need to find some crutches. But where do I find crutches? Crutches? You have to buy them. Can I get them here? No. We're Greece. Poor country. How are you getting home? I'm going to take a taxi. Can't take a taxi. Taxis all on strike. Oh, you Americans. So he called a friend who took me back to the hotel. The hotel owner, Mr. Constantino. He said, oh, poor American tourist. Did they give you pain medicines? Of course they didn't give me pain medicines. They don't believe in pain medicines in Greece. It costs money. Oh, poor thing. Here, Uzo. Have Uzo. More Uzo. Uzo. So, that night I slept in a Uzo fit. And the next day, we go to the airport in Hania to make our short flight to Athens. But they won't let me on the plane because they said, you have a broken ankle. You can't fly for two days. What? It's only a... 30 minute flight. And then I took my splint off and I said, I didn't break it. I was just pretending. I only sprained. It's just a flesh wound. So they let me fly. And I go 
and spend the night in Athens at an expensive airport hotel. And the next day I know when I'm going to fly home from Athens to America that I better pretend I don't have a broken ankle. So my son and I go and we sign in saying that I just have an ankle sprain and we get on the plane and finally we're going to be going towards home. This is five, well actually this is three days now after I broke my ankle. And we get on the plane and fly to Frankfurt totally out of the way and after this long flight my legs start swelling and swelling and I was worried I had a blood clot. And when we landed in Frankfurt for our catch our connecting flight, my son kept trying to encourage me to go to the emergency room and I got to thinking and realized that it would not be good if I, of all people, died of a pulmonary embolism on the flight home. So we went to the German hospital and they called another ambulance to take me. In the meantime, they loaded me up on the ambulance and I waited after 10 minutes. And this is Germany, Greece, they didn't even care who my name is. They opened the back doors and they go, I'm sorry for the delay, but your credit card hasn't cleared yet. So finally my credit card clears and they rush me off to the hospital in Germany. And this is now my second emergency room since I broke my ankle. And fortunately I did not have any blood clots and they put a nice splint on me and they were gonna make me pay in credit card for my entire bill. But fortunately, the resident who took care of me had Googled me and he said, oh, you're such a famous American doctor. I can't believe how many heart publications. By the way, you have quite an interesting cure for hiccups. So finally, we get on the plane, me and my poor broken ankle, and we fly to America. And we get to America, I go straight to Erlanger, where I finally, for the first time, get pain medicines. Delighted, delighted, delighted. And Dr. Krill puts me in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber for two days. And then I finally had surgery. And the rest now is history. So, here I am in a handicapped van being taken. We could have gone by horse. Yeah. Of course, it's very view by this whole He's in my wheelchair, though. The saga continues. We checked in at 1.50. It is now 3.20. They still have not given me permission to get on the plane. Still in Frankfurt, Germany. So we're waiting for an ultrasound to look for blood clots. Now, what y'all don't realize, this is the completion of a longest vacation I've taken of my life. With my son. So I had my surgery finally on the 10th day after I broke my ankle. And I took a couple of weeks off, but I needed to work to make money. And fortunately, they make knee scooters. And boy, even though it was bad breaking an ankle, that knee scooter was fun. And one of my favorite pastimes was to see how fast I could go around the loop of the emergency room. We're on. Okay, you're about to see me go for my personal best here in the emergency room at Erlanger. I have a siren if I need it. And Shannon here is going to time me. Okay. You ready? Yep. 29.5 seconds, my best. You ready? Go. Francis in the Sumerian Gorge. Now, my story is affectionately subtitled, Why I'll Never Leave America Without Buying Traveler's Insurance, or Why I Will Never Leave America Without Taking My Own Narcotic Pain Pills. Thank you.